Your sister <gasps> can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Hi! What's in here? I want to steal some stuff. Coins. Take that. Ashes sent me this coin to remember him. Oh. What a strange place, Essos. What is this? Fucking read it! Oh, I just looked at it. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Aww. Aww. I don't want to look at this. Wonders made by man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. One day. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Nope. Everyone's dead. Better for mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Naked. One second. Get a knife. One minute. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. You're the guy with no penis. Let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, lady, but are you all right? I'm fine. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. Her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You yeah. seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Fuck her. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and... And House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night, still daytime. Hey! Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Yeah. Come, there's something we must discuss. 
Why weren't you at Salt Lake City Comic Con? Why'd you drop out? I wanted to say hi. That's what I want to ask. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My mother wrote me. <laughs> family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what the fuck I are can you? say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. <laughs> it raises questions at a time I can least afford. <laughs> Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. I am no I'm traitor. A traitor? Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the- I world have nothing so to I apologize for. I apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not. But you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. The guy's looking at her boobs. Let's go over here. You'll be fine. I know you will. Gonna die. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Fine. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy, I got butterflies. I have to talk to this fucking bitch. You can do this. Give me a gun. Game over. I ah, hate Lady Marjorie, you. aren't you looking lovely this evening? Shut up, ghost. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Stand tall. I will speak truly, Your Grace. I should hope so. Speak falsely, and it'll be worse for you. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Ah! Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. The He's one true here, king. Is she is. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one yeah, true king. Yeah, you remember king. that. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. Shut up, little light. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. <sighs> I agree, Your yes, Grace. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty? If you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Absolutely. Yes, your grace. Absolutely. 
I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Fuck Joff! I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. Yeah. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her. I won't judge her, Your Grace. You I wasn't bitch. there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. You tell him, little light. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks what within their hearts? <sighs> you are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly, your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. I she just is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Kick her. Hey, Peter. Big fan. I'll walk you out. Thank you. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank, Thank you, Lord Peter. Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I don't like but that it bitch. It certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I don't particularly like her. <laughs> that was fairly apparent to everyone. Good. My sister and I have our differences. He's stupid. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. What are you suggesting? What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. 
Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. But are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a yes, thing. Yes, I am. risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I, I hope, hope we, we meet again. again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Thanks for the light. I love Peter Dinklage. Mira, I was worried. Hi. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It went well. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. A bitch. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. I don't want to know that! And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite he handsome. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Oh, really? Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Tell would me more. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him <sighs> and he's always treated lady marjorie well which or my is more family. than you can say for his mother i'd marry anyone if it helped my family right of course well i would marry him imagine the power you would have as queen of the seven kingdoms i might even allow you to be my handmaiden <laughs> let's see who else should we marry off Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and. Banfic? What are you doing? Oh shit. Nothing? Well. We were just having fun. We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game, it's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. Yeah, I know. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, me too. But the queen. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Jura is right. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ask for help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. 
There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak alone. I prefer to speak with you alone. I'm sorry. Good. Go on. Can you stop the bullets? I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request, especially now. <laughs> Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. I will be in your debt. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't be your Cersei. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. I already said that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Yes! Woo! Look, she's worried. Well, that's what you get! We're not going to Salt Lake Comic Con! I'm just kidding. It's fine. I, I understand. You, pro you were probably busy. <laughs>